Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. One thing I like to try to use when I'm out here is, is humor whenever possible. I think it's a really important part of the job. It's kind of a way to deflect uh, some of those things so we don't have to, uh, to bring it home to our families. They try to find humor even in the, in the worst situations just so uh, makes it so we don't really have to personally get involved with with a lot of the trouble that we do see. Right going this 36 foot heavy doll with balding hair, wearing a blue shirt, tan pants, has stuck his hand through some broken glass. Oh, we're gonna stop this pickup truck up here. It has a tail light out. And we'll have a little chat with the driver. See if he's aware of it. 372 can I try it? 372. 66 can I what the tow company is my car for three nine nine. 76 in McKinley. It's a white Ford pickup truck. I can't read the plate. 129. And we're going to go westbound 75th. Stop not stopping. Westbound 75, 129. Now we're going to call pursuit. Still westbound passing F. In pursuit, we're going to be southbound D, and he just lost it. Southbound D, David, and Put pursuit. Put your hands up. Hands up in the air. Get down on your knees. Get down on your knees. Put your hands on your head. Don't even move, okay? Just stay right there. Hands up your head. Okay. Stay right there, all right? All right, stand up. Now, what are you thinking? You got any weapons on you? Spread your feet apart. You got anything on you I'm going to hurt myself with? No? No weapons? Three seven two county one custody. You got any ID on you? No. What's your name? Where's your ID? Well, hold on. Oh, never mind. I can't put you back with the dog. Whose truck? Mine. Well, you gave it to me. Someone gave it to you? Yes, sir. Is it stolen? No. So why are you running? I don't know. I had beer in the pocket. I freaked out. You had, you had beer in your pocket and it made you freak out? Why'd you pull me over? Why? Get a tail light out. You've met my dog before. Yeah. Yeah. What do I did run? Uh, who's no, he, he tried to run. That's mine. That's your truck? No, my, I got it from a friend. I gave him to do some work for him. And, uh, What's your friend's name? Who owns the truck? Vern. Vern what? I don't know his last name. 
How long have you had it? I don't know. Where does Vern live? Uh, yeah, any warrants? Okay, so let me just run this by you one, one more time. Okay. You see the lights behind you, right? You say to yourself, oh, I have a beer in my pocket. I better punch it and run. I didn't know what was happening. I just freaked out, man. You what? I saw a student from the apartment complex wrestling while ago. I didn't know somebody called a law there. Okay, are you, are you suspended? No. You're not even suspended? No. Come on. That's it. How much have you had to drink tonight? Five beers. How many? Five, Five beers? Okay. Yeah, he turned, he turned up here, and then you can see the smoke. So he, he hit it, and you can see the smoke coming out. And then when he went around the corner, he's just going too fast and, and lost, lost the rear end. So what's his story? Why is he running? He had, a, he had a beer in his pocket. That's it. That's it. Oh, look at his tire. You see, I don't know if he hit the... off the rim. Yeah. Howdy. Howdy. I think he put a little dent in your fence here. Well, he's been drinking and he decided to run from us tonight. Oh. He has a couple needles in here and can't find anything else. Let's see anything else? Illegal nature here. He's clear. He's a corrections client, though. He's not even susp suspended or anything? There's no, uh, no computer records for driver's license, so I'm not so sure that that's not Timothy. Okay. I got to go, though. Tacoma needs... Okay, no problem. Thanks for stopping. Yeah. So you've had a license before, right? You've had... What? Yeah. Okay. See, we have a problem with that. You tell me you've had a license, but under this name, it comes back no computer record for having a license. I had a license in Texas. What? Not Washington, Texas. You had a license in Texas, but never in Washington. No. How about ID in Washington? Never had one. What's that? Never had one. Never even had one. Okay. And how long have you lived in the state? No, about five years. Well, so when you crashed here and got out and started running, what were you thinking? I didn't get out running. What? I didn't get out running. Oh, well, fair. Well, how come I caught you right here by the, about uh, 20 yards from the car? I was over here. I, I, I jumped. I freaked me out, man. Was, I didn't run, though. I didn't want to run. Okay. Well, Jack's going to take him to uh, Washington State Patrol office. Let's find out how much he's had to drink tonight. And he'll end up going to jail for uh, eluding and DUI. A lot of people, they, they start to get upset with me when I arrive at a scene for whatever the situation is. As um, soon as they see that I, I want to know their side of the story, then uh, they usually relax a little bit. And I get a lot more out of them that way. It, uh, kind of a technique that I've, I've learned from some of the other deputies that really works well. We got a witness on a hit and run accident on a cell phone following uh, the person who fled the scene. They said they're headed this direction, so we're going to see if we can catch up with them and uh, get the guy stopped. County at, uh, yeah, they're waiting. 128 and 86, and he just confirmed you are behind him. 2037. It's an old lady. 417, can I be out with him? 417, 2037. How you doing, ma'am? I'm doing fine, Okay, I guess you actually hit this person. I don't know if you knew it or not behind you. What I need you to do, there's a parking lot right over here to the front on the left for Rogers High School. I need you to pull in that parking lot, please. Not Okay, thank you very much. Okay, yeah, well, we've been trying to catch up with you. We're yeah. quite a ways away, so. Yeah, well, basically, when I was on Fruitland, or Fruitland 104th, I told them where they were. And, yeah. And then she says just don't in? follow them, but 
Um, yeah, if you don't mind for just a second. We were right behind Okay. Yeah, we were, we were on the What did you guys see? We, we, were, we were like two cars. She was the car she was in, in front, front of the car in front of us. Okay. And the light turned green, and the, the samurai she started to come to straight, uh -huh. and she just turned and like basically ran the front left corner, front right corner over. Okay. And then she just took off, and then I started to follow her, yeah, and they started to follow since. also. And then I, I got on the phone and called 911 to tell them where we were. And then eventually we came back to where you guys were. You know where that little samurai bicycle place is right there on the, across from the home uh -huh. the tavern there? That's where the Samurai's, and I don't think it's driving, because oh, okay. it was going it was make really, it sounded like the front end was sure. smashed in. <laughs> you know, she was doing like 30 miles an hour down canyon right. the whole way. And then, and and then, then the she ditch. turned in 84. Yeah. She was in the ditch, and the gravel was flying. I'm like, wait a minute. So for the last 20 minutes, she's been driving around with no headlights. Everybody's flashing their lights at her. But she was doing so well. Okay. Well, we appreciate you calling us and following her. Dispatch has our number. Okay. We're refusing to do our my uh, field sobriety test. You're going to be placing my car right now. Okay. You're in the rest. Okay. You're in the rest right now for DUI. Okay. And you're revoked first. Okay. So you're in the rest for those two things right now. Okay. And you got a warrant out of order for $400 for a DUI. Okay. There's a reason why you're even driving tonight for all that stuff. I don't have anything to say. Okay. So you want to talk you to me now? Me. Okay. That's fine. Well, she's in custody, so we're going to run down and see if we can find the victim that she ran into. Hopefully, they're still going to be down there at the scene so we can get all their information. Well, this is a classic example of uh, somebody likes to drink too much and drive. You know, apparently, she hasn't learned. She's got a warrant for DUI. She's got a long history of it. Uh, fortunately, she hasn't killed anybody at, th at this point. But uh, she doesn't have a license, so now she's driving drunk without a license. So it's only a matter of time before she does kill somebody. So hopefully we can get her stopped. The victim's right here. They've got uh, more witnesses with her. Let's see if she's okay. I'm sure she doesn't need medical aid. Okay. Just hang tight. I'll be right with you. Who all was in the in Just the car? Me and her. Okay. I was driving. You were driving. Okay. What car. happened? Oh my we were coming right down here. The light was red. Turned green. Start to go. Car comes. She turned. She, she was us. like halfway in the other lane yeah. too, and then she just turned. This. Okay, so she was coming this direction and decided to go this way. She, she hit us, she was on a solid gunned green. it, started, kept going. Okay. I barely couldn't even get my car over here. Okay, both of you are okay? Wearing your seatbelts? Yeah. Okay. Always. She Stop. hit us so hard, though, we were still wearing our seatbelts, and we hit the dashboard and the windshield. Okay. Sucked. Well, we've got her stopped Thank up God. on South Hill. That's okay, she's been drinking. So, probably, probably figured that out. Probably. She, she must give me the car by tomorrow. Aye. I need a job and then get there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Say well, we need. Yes, I can't. I can't handle not having a car. Okay. Well, do you have your uh, license, insurance, all that stuff, so we can get the paperwork started? Oh, I didn't I thought they we were got. Following. I'm sorry. I they were following me. No, they apparently it disabled the vehicle. Um, a couple witnesses followed followed her. Is that your uh, carry around airbag? Yeah, I'm next. You're next. <laughs> hey, you weren't in that Jeep, were you? No, okay. Of course, those were all in the back because you were holding all your food. No, I actually had those on my lap. I'm lucky because I would have hit the ch my chest and the dashboard, and I had those so that acted as an, that was an airbag yeah, for you. Yeah, that's not good for well, some. How about that? Four bucks a pop, and they probably saved my life. <laughs> I'm gonna drive with them. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, we were able to catch up with the victim. Uh, they're real lucky because of the the size of their car versus the suspect. Uh, the suspect had a really large car, and they, they're driving the little sidekick. Uh, real lucky they weren't injured more than they were. Uh, we've got another deputy up doing the DUI right now portion of this. They've got a tow truck to come and get her car out of here. So the suspect's going to be going to jail tonight, and luckily they're going home. It has its moments where you'll be driving along, nothing will be happening. Uh, next second you turn around and you're on to something it can be a stolen car or suspicious person or something like that but uh 
fact, there's a couple cars parked back here. One's a Honda and a truck parked on the side of the road. A couple people standing out by it. Take a turn and see. Three for eight county suspicious vehicles. Hundred second in sales. Go back over to your. Okay, why don't you go back over to your car for me, please? Sorry. That's quite all right. Whose car is this? I just bought it. You just bought it. Okay, do you guys have some identification? You don't. Okay, and you're not gonna lie to me. Okay, does your friend there have any ID? Okay, why don't you hand me your ID real quick. Ma'am, do you have any ID on you? Three for eight, can now the unit routine. Here you go. Just relax and just lean over there. Go ahead. Yeah, we just got that. What's your last name? Sir? Sir? Just relax right there for me, okay? I don't want you digging in the car while we're talking, okay? What's your last name? Sir? Dude. Okay. Relax up against that truck there, okay? Thank you. Spell your last name for me. Just like that. Spell your last name for me, man. Dude! Mike! Oh, I thought you were talking to him. Focus here. Sorry about that. 348 records. Hmm? Dude, stand over there and don't walk away from me again or you're going to handcuffs. You understand me? Stand over there. Am I in trouble? No. Okay. But there's three of you or there's one of me. Okay. We can do this one of two ways. Okay. This is your last warning. Stand back there or you're going to handcuffs. Just chill. Did I do something wrong? Okay. Move again. You're going in handcuffs. You understand? So I'll make sure you guys are legit and we'll get out of here. <coughs> Go ahead. We do have two confirmed warrants, one on Peter and one on Abigail. Um, I will send those up. And it is just a misdemeanor warrant out of Seattle. Okay, hold on sending those up for right now as long as they're confirmed. Affirm we do not send those warrants up? No, hold on to them for just a second. Go Peter, come here. So I can ask him what my words were. Turn around, face the car for me, put your hands behind your back. Did you know you had the warrant? Uh, Spritch I uh, hit my finger with a hammer. Yeah. That must have hurt. Yeah, well, not as bad as you squeeze it. Okay. You got any knives, needles, hand grenades, or anything like that on you? Okay. Do you use needles? Mm -hmm. I don't care if you do, I just don't want to get stuck. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you know you had the warrant? Um, no, I didn't. You can have a seat. You want to take care of her and... Honesty goes a long way with me. Oh, I would tell you if I did. I really don't. I don't even think I have a piece of paper in my pocket. <laughs> I have to check, though. Anything in your pockets up here? No. You want it, bro? Mm-mm. No. Well, now what's going on with you? Okay. You, you want to have a seat in the back of my car? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's why everyone's so nervous. Except the front of the car, you want to pat him down and make sure he didn't have anything. The floor is just for weapons. And now I'm going to go and actually see what you got in your pockets. Sort of like still up. If that's not your pipe that's in your car, whose pipe is that? It's hers. It's hers? Okay. Now you're under arrest, okay, for lawful possession of controlled substance. Okay. It's in your best interest to start being honest with us here, okay? I asked you, I asked you if you had dope on you, didn't I? Okay, why didn't you just tell me? Didn't, did you think we weren't going to find it? I knew you would find it. I didn't know, sir. Who'd you buy the dope from? Some guy at a party. This is what we found in his pocket. Cigarettes is fairly commonplace to find it. It's a fairly decent amount of methamphetamine, um, about the average we see for 
personal use or use sharing it with a buddy. Um, yeah, I only dropped a little bit in there and it turned blue right away. This is a methamphetamine test kit. Um, put just a little bit of the suspected narcotic in with the kit, break the ampule, and you get the chemical reaction, changes the color, and it's a confirmed field test for methamphetamine. Hang with him for a sec. I'm going to talk to her. You've been watching, and you see what we found and stuff in the car. Okay. Well, we'll start from the beginning. Why don't you tell me about the pipe I found in the visor right above your head, the glass pipe. Okay. We were just going Okay. Is that your pipe that's above the visor? It is. It's, it's a misdemeanor charge. I, I don't care. I need. We need to establish some honesty and it's stuff not. here. Okay. Why is he telling me that it's yours? And that's your boyfriend, why right? He's telling me it's mine. Or telling you it's mine. It's not mine. Okay. Seriously, I don't. Have okay. Did you know about the mess he had on him that was in his cigarettes? No, I. I'll, oh man. One of two things can happen. This can scare you, and say, you know what? This is not a lifestyle I want. Or you're going to say, you know what, I'm too far in, I can't get out. That's up to you, okay? So you're going to jail tonight, okay, for at least your warrant, possession of drug paraphernalia. But I didn't have any drug okay. paraphernalia. It's right above your head, right in the visor where you were sitting when I pulled up, okay? But I didn't know it was there, though. I mean, okay, I well, that's not for me to decide, too. Okay, it's his car. He's telling me it's yours. I can't believe he told you it's mine. That's okay. not well, mine. He did, so, you know, I don't know what to tell you about that. It's your boyfriend, so I can't see him ratting you out if it wasn't yours. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Covers code 3. Thanks, Ted. Phoenix 2514. Can't transmit on tag 2. Okay, we'll still send it code 3. problem here methamphetamine good evening i'm john walsh and tonight i'll be riding along with the pierce county sheriff's department we'll cover their special meth lab unit and their frontline fight against this dangerous drug so saddle up and let's get busy we're trying to catch up to another deputy who's in pursuit of another car. And he's up ahead here. Well, this guy's supposed to be a known meth cooker in the area. So it's possible he might have a lab in the vehicle. Well, we have a sergeant up here at the intersection who's going to try to lay some sticks down and hopefully puncture his tires. Well, boys, here we go. Looks like we're gonna have a good one here. Hey, 
Please, over here. Get out of here now! Stop fighting! Put your hands behind you. Screw something out, guys. Don't need the car. Okay. Just got cuffs. Working on them. Put your hands behind your back. Now. Give me a hand. Give me a hand. Put your hands behind your back. Stop resisting. Got it. Oh. Oh. Underneath the car. I saw him throw what he threw underneath the car here. There's a bag of dope. Oh. There we go. Yeah. So he threw some meth under the car. Well, let's get him in a car. Find a volunteer. All right, buddy, roll over your side. Roll over on your side, knees up to your chest. What? Bring your knees up to your chest so you can stand up. There you go. Oh. <clears throat> right here, Bubba. Hey, do you see him rip his coat off when he went to the fence? Yeah. Damn, I just about had him. You see, he turned right in front of me on uh, yeah. the Yakima on 9.30. Yeah, you came right into it. But you almost, when you went by, me and Jeff, we cut down and stuff yeah. when you went by. So. <laughs> Let's get that stuff out from underneath the car. Okay. Smell the lab on those guys. Fresh. Good deal. Right. Yeah. Cooking and stuff. So, here. You got a bag? Here. I don't have it. My car's not here. It's back hey, over to the other yeah. side. Get in my trunk and uh, get a paper bag out of the back. There's a big paper bag. Oh. Getting old? Going over fence? Well, we went over the fence. Man? I got his coat. Uh -huh. And it ripped, in my, ripped out in my hands. This guy's only been up for a week and you can't keep up with him? <laughs> All right, I hear you. All right. He's got the packages and everything. Yeah, money. good. Well, we're assuming this is going to be a, uh, the guys back at the uh, car saying there's a lab in the car, methamphetamine lab. What do you guys do with this stuff? Well, we process everything for evidence, and then after that, it's packaged and set in a secure facility for the Department of Ecology to dispose of because it's very hazardous and, and uh, volatile. Dangerous stuff. Absolutely. A lot of times they use coolers. Um, we've got a five gallon uh, metal container. It's probably got like an acetone or a paint thinner, whatever they're using to cut it. He's got a uh, like a lawn spraying pump here. A lot of times they'll use it um, as a pump or to, to filter the drugs through and then just the other drugs. So, uh, yeah, I'd say for sure that he has a method. <laughs> it's just overwhelming. Yeah, just go sit down. Well, we're going to do a quick rinse of them. Okay. Take all their stuff off, put them in the Tyvek suits, and our, our uh, hazmat's coming up, too. Okay. Eric, why did you call the fire department to hose this guy down right in the middle of the street? Oh, well, we needed them to decontaminate our subject. Uh, the chemicals that spilled on him were so poisonous, we don't want them to contaminate any other cellmates at the jail. So he's hazardous? Yes, very. Now, now this was a rolling lab. What yes. was in there? Everything you need for, to make meth. And it was an active lab, so he had the containers full of toxic substances, which spilled out during the pursuit and spilled on him. Well, this is the old adage, uh, you play with fire, you're gonna get burned. Now, if he'd have crashed, that, that thing could have exploded and yep. hurt innocent people. Sure could have. Real dangerous chase, but you did a great job. Thank you. Be safe out there. Thank you. They're uh, hyped up on meth. They're armed, and that's what we're coming into now. They're up. The, you've got the bad guy that's been up for a week, that's uh, doing methamphetamine and doing robberies, and he's armed with a handgun. So it's dangerous. And there are a lot of guns around here, aren't there? Appear to be a lot of guns. A lot of guns. We come across uh, quite a few. What are we doing back here? This looks like mobile homes that people live in. Well, this property belongs to a guy that owns this restaurant up here, and his son is a guy that we've been looking for for a while. He's got a narcotics background. He has some felony warrants, and I uh, just like to drive through and see if he's here. He drives a Bronco, and uh, sometimes you get lucky, 
and uh, a lot of times they don't expect you to come back through this way. So you're actually on private property looking for this guy? Yes, I am. And this is his father's property? This is his father's property. And there's a Bronco there that could be. And there's some, right there. There's some folks in it right there. Right there. Right. So we'll run up on this real quick. Oh, there's that hair. Like Sixty-seven County. Sixty-seven. Behind the arches on an occupied uh, Bronco. Sixty-seven. Why don't you put your hands on the dashboard there, everybody? Put your hands where I can see them. Okay? Let's keep this door shut. Father that owns all this property is just the sun gone bad as that. Yeah. Well, he'll run in the. If, if we would have got here in time, he'd have run inside the. Is that his father's bar? So what we'll do is we'll haul. Hey, Greg, he's the driver here. Now he may run when I pull him out of the car. You might want to have your dog ready. Keep an eye on the passengers for me there. Okay, there's a dog behind you, so. Okay. Okay. Dwayne, yeah. come on out here and just drop down on your knees for me. Don't do anything stupid. That dog right there will chase yeah. you down. Drop down. All right? Just drop all the way down. Just stay right there for me. Okay. Put your hands down out by your side. Hands down by your side. There you go. Just stay right there. Right now you're going you're gonna be under arrest, okay? For what? Well, you got some warrants. Okay, do you have anything on you that's no, weapons? Nothing at all. I don't shouldn't have any warrants. Well, someone said you had a felony warrant. I know. I went to court last week. Okay. Well, I'm gonna make sure, okay? Yeah. Okay, what don't you do is pull your knees up. Okay. We're gonna lift you up, okay? Okay, let's walk you back here for me. Who'd you go to court? Who'd you go to court with? Um, with um, with my attorney last week. Okay. When I was supposed to go out on bail. Okay, you're out on bail. Yeah. Okay, you just lean over the car for me. I, mean, I, I went to court. Okay, all right. Well, if you don't have any warrants, we'll uh, brush you all. You got it. There's a misdemeanor warrant associated with your vehicle. You know that? No, I don't. What? What's that? For? So, what are we parked out here for? I just pulled it around back here because um, a couple of people know that. What's I... all the aluminum foil in the back seat? Right. Little little tiny pieces of aluminum foil. Yeah, no, I didn't even see it back there. Your passengers aren't... Been, my truck should have been cleaned. I just cleaned it out. Today. Is there is your uh, backseat passenger there smoking some crank or something? Um, he wasn't when I was working there, but it's possible. Yeah. I see the lighter and the foil, in the, but all the crank's gone now. Yeah. I wouldn't be doing that. You just told me you broke the cycle and you're hanging around. You got any probation problems about hanging around other people that are doing this stuff? No. All right, well. I've been paying on my fines, taking care of everything that I'm supposed to. How do you know the girl? Uh, Tina, um, I just threw the, the bar. Don't let her drive your truck. She's suspended. Are you suspended? Yeah. 245. So you drove it around back? You know, the law has changed now. Anywhere in the state you drive now, not even on private property, if you're suspended. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. I, actually, I bought it just to, to sell it. I got a good deal. I bought it from Frank over there for 50. You know, and he's letting me pay payments, so I bought it, clean it up, and... Hey, here's the deal. The guy in the back seat smoking crack. I mean, crank. Okay? You just broke... You just told me you just got through. Okay. Okay, you just had a felony warrant squashed for dope. Yeah. And do you see the you see a problem here? Yeah, yeah. I okay, can. I mean, okay, I, I can't pick up the pieces and it's ground in the carpet, so I can't do anything with it. But the evidence is there: the lighter, the foil, and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So tonight's his lucky day and your lucky day, because I'm pretty sure that you're not supposed to be around people that are doing that. Yeah, yeah. It's just how you know it's hard to, to not be around anybody. You know, I mean, if you know, I'm saying it's hard to there. Uh, people like that everywhere you go you know well you know you got to tell them say hey, i know you know i don't do that anymore right which is yeah i mean I, you can do that but i mean they still come around all right you're uh, free to go tonight it's your lucky night i guess huh i would hope that i wouldn't have come around the corner a little bit later and you'd have been uh, smoking it yourself that wouldn't have been no good huh what'd you think when i pulled in behind you I didn't think myself, I didn't think nothing. So which one of you guys did something wrong? Yeah, I've been seeing you guys around all night long. 
Yeah. You know? but, well, I knew your vehicle from a couple weeks ago because when you had the warrant, mm -hmm. and I was looking for it. Yeah. So, but yeah, I'd like to know kind of what that what that would be about. Okay. All right. Okay. You can let uh, Miss Smith go and Dwayne. All right. All right thanks for your good. cooperation. See you, Dean. Get that warrant taken care. She had a 250 for suspended period. I think she's probably. Can you believe it? He's clean, out of bucket, out of jail, and and he's letting guys smoke crank in their back his back seat. And of course, they grounded it. I can't get it up out of the carpet enough to test or anything but the foil and the lighter still back there so we will see him again it's that's just like you said it's his lucky night yeah lucky night uh, paul what are we doing here where are we going uh, we've got a unit in pursuit of a motorcycle we believe it came from a uh, drug house sounds like they've got the uh motorcycle down now at the, one of the dead ends down here okay and meaning the motorcycle is down on the ground or they've stopped I, it's hard to say i can't tell if he's actually stopped or what's happened and the dog just showed up so i assume he's not running and one in custody so the canine just rolled this fast here are these all the guys that were back at the place no these are guys that they've were in the probably unit. rolled up yeah but I'm sure Andy's here, though. We'll go up and see okay. real quick. Eat. Chad, what we got? Where is he? Where's the motorcycle? Right Stolen? It hasn't come back yet. Andy's running and everything. Holy smokes, you're kidding. Uh -uh. Who's that? Mr. Rob Mr. Robert... And I've arrested him. Now, that's one of the guys that I have arrested several times. Oh, boy. He's, yeah. Is he... I think that I would be willing to bet that he's cranked. Huh? Yeah. Okay. How are you? Chow Good Walsh. Meeting. Good to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. He got the right shades on for tonight. Look at this. Did you take the plate, or did he not have it? Uh, I tapped him a little bit. Oh, did you? Okay. Okay, let's when check this bike stop. out here. Well, here's your... Okay. <laughs> no ignition. He's oh his own my goodness! Andy's running it all through right now. Okay. It's painted black. You see oh, the yeah. matte black. It's, yeah. it's usually a. Uh, I'm surprised there's not drugs or something on it. We may find a guy running uh, dope. <laughs> this, that, oh, this is a fascinating guy back here. He's riding around on a, this, all this rigged up bike. Like you said, with the spray paint, just so he, nobody can tell what it is. Right. He doesn't think somebody's going to stop him on this bike. Yeah, he has, he forgot to to spray the purple wheels. Look at this bike. Look at this crazy bike. No ignition. No nothing. Yep. And he's got his dark shades on, riding in, out here at night, and try to outrace you. Unbelievable. And look at these rings he's got here. Look at this stuff. Yeah. He's into the birds. Look at that helmet. You gotta love that helmet, huh? Well, let's wait look on the records guy. check to come back. Huh? Look at him. Wow. Uh, he's, uh... Look at this guy. He's having a bad day. Wow. Yeah. This guy is wired, isn't he? Yeah. That's uh, look, the crank methamphetamine problem look, right there. Look, look at what it does to you. Look at him. Has he been red? Ask him why he ran and... I just got out in night event about a week. You know, I just did five months on probation violations. I've been doing good. Me and myself have been getting along. Well, this ain't going to be any good stuff. taking off. So I was stupid, man. Think how much better shape you'd be in if you'd just stopped, huh? <laughs> yeah, I know. What's your status right now on your license and everything? Third degree? I'm totally stupid, man. Yeah, that was a dumb move. So what, what about the bike? The bike? A friend of mine about the name bar, right? it's, it's not stolen. I called in this morning before I even got on it. What's the name on your phone? Uh, on the bike? No, on your friend. On, I don't know. He's, he's, it's a friend of his. It's in jail. It's a friend of a friend yeah, of a he, friend? He, 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 he let him have it. I called him. I hate him. those stories. Uh, I, I, I called random, you know, all the numbers on it this morning. I didn't want you to ride in a stolen bike. What about the tag? Where'd that Oregon tag come from? <laughs> I didn't even think about that. I, I just ran the numbers. You didn't, didn't think even, about it? It was just on there. I was stupid, man. Yeah, I'm not I had been smart. walking all week. All right, hang tight for him. 
The sunglasses for effect, Chad? Or what? I kind of like them on it. Okay. It, uh, I'll tell you, it's quite an outfit. Huh? It is. Yeah, you quite an outfit with, You missed tonight. the helmet on there. That's huh? it. The helmet's like, got a hundred dings in it. Yeah, I think yeah. it's been down a couple of times. The glasses are terrific. <laughs> Huh? He thinks he's Batman out here on the bat. He, th he thinks he's Batman tonight. Yeah, he might think he's Batman. He's Batman tonight, but he's going to go to jail. Yeah. Now, he could have got killed so easy easily tonight riding that stupid bike. I mean, I've had a lot of experience. I used to race motocross, and it's like, this is like, look at this road that he's on. This is not the road to be riding 100 miles an hour. On. We'll see him in another five months, probably. Saddle up, boys. On to the next one. Now you got a call on the computer. Where are we going? Well, we're going to go to a uh, car that one of our units has stopped, and they're asking for me to stop by because they actually have a uh, lab in the car. Oh man! We got the tow truck here already. What are you doing? What are you doing to me? Got a rolling meth lab. This is uh, some of the stuff that he was cooking. Uh, why don't we? Uh, is Frankie? Is that all? Is it all contained here? Yeah. yeah. Some more back over on there. So you got all this paraphernalia in here, all the tubes, all the tubing, all the stuff. He told us everything that's in the car. Admitted to being out in the woods cooking it. So out in the woods cooking. Out in the woods. So he's he's a portable lab. Goes in the woods cooks it up and takes it to somebody to sell. Exactly. And all this, and drive around with all this dangerous stuff. Yeah, right? all the chemicals in the trunk. Yep. Yeah, let's That's go show good. what we got here. You don't, uh, you're impounding the car, so we're good to go inside the car, and you arrested him, and... Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, okay. Good here we got the funnel, the mask he used. So he has to wear a mask because this is hazardous chemicals. Yes, using, yes, right? yes, yes. Okay. It was, as uh, soon as we opened up the car door, you could smell the fumes from... Oh, I can smell it now. I mean, it's just pitching. We got any finished product left, do you know? Oh, yeah, we got some we finished do? product. Okay. It just hadn't dried yet. Okay. Watch yourself. Push that button. In there is some of the residue. You can smell it. It's pretty oh, strong. Oh, my God. My God. I'm going to close it back up here. My oh. God. Now that, I well, that no now you got to remember. No idea yeah. that's that power. They're, they're putting that in their body. So, so in a way, I know you call these guys cookers, but they're sort of sophisticated on oh, knowing yeah. how to make this stuff, right? Yeah, they even you know, un oddly enough, they put this stuff on the internet. No kidding. No kidding. What amazes me, we're always talking about these rolling labs. Here's a rolling lab. One thirty-two in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. South Hill Precinct. It's a good shift. A lot of good people. And I prefer the graveyard shift because there's a lot of action. It starts off busy, but it slows down, lets you have a chance to go around and get proactive, look for crimes in progress. Okay, man, a motorcycle. I just ran the plate and it's come back to expired tabs. I'm going to try to stop them here and see what we have. He's had plenty of chances to pull over. I think he's looking for a spot to take off from me or turn. Yeah, he's definitely looking for a spot to turn or get away. And he's got his blinker on here. Like he's going to pull over. I think he might... He's shaky. He might try to run when I get out of the car. Three, 
387 County. Oh. 387 County in pursuit, northbound 10th Avenue South from Spanaway Loop. This went northbound through 173rd Street. One male. Okay, okay. Get your hands in the air! Get your hands in the air! Let me grab on or wait? Let me wait, Greg. Yeah, hang on, just a second. Keep your hands up! Keep them up! Get up! That'll work. Get down. Get down in your gut. Get down in your gut. Get your hands behind your back. Get on your stomach. Get on your stomach. Get your other hand behind your back. Get on your stomach. Behind your back. You got any weapons on you or anything I should be worried about? Yes, sir. No guns? Yes, sir. No knives? Yes, sir. No needles? No. Okay, roll up on your knee. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Huh? James. James? Yes. James, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right this time to talk to an attorney, have him present with you, or I'd be in question. If you cannot afford to hire an attorney, I won't be appointed to represent you for any question if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights, not answer any questions or make any statements. You understand those rights? What'd you run for, man? I was scared. Huh? I was scared. Why were you scared? Huh? Scared of what? Stand up. Yeah, Milton available to can Let's go. Walk. I went down the driveway of a possible map house. Just wanted to meet you there on one second and nineteen. Okay, James, I'm gonna do a better pat down on you now. Clean over the hood. Well, I got behind him and found out that he had expired tabs and uh, tried to pull him over, but he wouldn't stop. He slowly kept going. <laughs> Finally, when he turned northbound on 10th Avenue, he just took off and we were in pursuit. It didn't last long and then he crashed and tried to escape from a dog in a lake. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Why are you like this, James? Are you high? Stand up. You're not high? You can't be out of that much breath. Look at the size of me. I chased you. He's got nothing. There is no, no break in this at all. He didn't get through that coat. Okay. All right, James. Come on. Come on. All right, James. 
Come on. Come on. Have a seat in the car. What's wrong with you? It's out of breath? Do you have any medical problems? Huh? Are you asthmatic or something? Well, this is the bike right here. Uh, it looks like he might have damaged a little bit in the crash. When he landed in the yard over there, uh, he had switch plates on the motorcycle. The plates were expired, though, and that's why I was behind him. My last name's Fish, and I guess he didn't know that before he took a run into the lake, but I can't take all the credit. He can't outrun a dog in water. I work out of the South Hill precinct, uh, graveyards, by choice. It's uh, my favorite shift. A lot of action going on at night. Uh, keeps you busy. Uh, makes the night go by quick. Next thing you know, it's already time to go home. Uh, the South Hill precinct's uh, located the east side of the county. Uh, I work the west district, which is basically all of Parkland and Spanaway. Uh, folks I work with, uh, there's 14 of us, our squad. Good bunch of people. We like to come out here and uh, uh, have some fun, but at the same time, you know, stay safe and catch some bad guys. I got a open garage on a auto body shop right over there. I'm going to turn around here and go check it out. It should be closed. Nobody should be in there at this time of night. It's alarm, though. Seven County, myself and K912 will be out at Unsecured Business, Centerline Break and Muffler, 99th in the app. 128. Two eight seven records. It wasn't earlier. There's an alarm, though, and I, the alarm hasn't been going off. It hasn't gone off? No. But somebody's been in here because the sign's off. The signs go across all the doors like that. I don't know if it's a uh, business owner or what. Or, or There's the police! Oh. Police search my police dog! Anybody needs to come out now! Last round! Oh. 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 Guys in the car right here. Come out! Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Step on out. Keep stepping out. Keep coming out. Keep coming out. Come out to me. Come out to me. Go ahead and turn around and put your hands on the building here. It's okay. Okay, okay, put your hands up there, okay? Leave them up there, okay? Don't take them down, okay? Leave them up there on the thing. Okay, do you work here? What do you do here? You do brakes and mufflers? For Tony who? Okay. Do you usually sleep in the cars in here? Just tonight. Just tonight? Just tonight. Tony's going to meet me here at 6. Tony's going to meet you at 6:30. Do you got keys to the place or anything? Sure do. No, 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 stay go ahead and stay out here. So you got some ID in the in the car? Okay, just stay right here. I'm going to take a look at that, make sure. How long have you been in here? Just having some beer, smoking some marijuana in there, huh? Yeah. Get you the keys, 
to the front door so I can show you that I have the keys to the front door and how I got okay. in here. So the, I can give the owner a call to make sure that you're supposed to be here and stuff? Absolutely. Wouldn't, wouldn't you expect me? Because yeah, look at yeah, the, yeah, somebody's yeah, tools and everything. I'm glad you answered up because that dog would have chewed on you. Cool. Yeah, that dog would have been cool. chewing on you and that would have been no good. That's cool. Good thing that you woke you up. That's cool. Huh. Okay, so you, what would you say? You do the brakes in here? I do everything. You do everything? Everything. You're the handyman, huh? Take care of everything. Okay. Once you get uh, get the uh, keys to the front door and show me them. <laughs> Ten seconds. I don't know what she said. Go ahead. What's that? This is Sonia's kiss my ass. Who's Sonia? She's the, the owner's wife. The owner's wife? Yeah. What's so funny, James? I'm just laughing because I don't know how I'm going to explain this one. You don't know how you're going to explain this one? I don't have a damn clue how I'm going to explain this one. Who are you going to explain this to? Tony. To Tony? Okay. Go ahead and lock her back up. You don't keep the alarm on at night? Not when I'm here. Not when you're here? Not when I'm here. Usually you don't uh, smoke a little too much and then fall asleep with the doors open, huh? Usually I ain't even nowhere near here doing that. You know, well, that's pretty smart. You'll keep your job that way, huh? Usually I'm sitting in the bed. Sitting in the bed smoking that stuff, huh? Where's home at, James? Where do you I'm, live at? He's in between houses. I'm going to be off of 112th here in about a week. 112th and what? Yeah, the, I was going to move into Park Meadows up here. I'm yeah. talking about getting a duplex the other direction instead, so. But, <laughs> yeah. I noticed that uh, your stash is pretty much smoked up, so I don't have to do anything about that. It was never very big anyway. Well, that'll get you in trouble, James. You don't need that, do you? Take care of that warrant. No trouble. Take care of that warrant, okay? Okay. You can go back in and go to bed. Pull the I door down. Pull the door down, yeah. All right? Thanks. Good luck. Our deputies in pursuit of a stolen van. It was just going the wrong way on the freeway. We're just paralleling. We're just, they're paralleling them, so there's like 10 blocks over this way. Hopefully they'll... Eastbound, not sure what road, it's uh, standby. Oh, it's gone away from us. 97, eastbound 97 from Portland. Eastbound 97 from Portland, 2249. The road he just went, he can't get very far, so he's going to come back, either go to us or away from us here. Southbound 24th Avenue. Northbound 24th Avenue. Good. See what happens. Blacked out. Where are you now? You're still eastbound 96, though. Ah, uh, he's stopping. I get wrecked. Oops. Give me a cross shooter, 100 block. 800 block. Wrecking the 4800 block, uh, 96 eastbound. Closest unit for him. Hit it pretty good, it looks like. Keep in this on Metro 2255. K9 gets here, we can run with him. They should be able to get this guy because he just took off through this guy's yard over here. Well, I see him at the church. The uh, car pulls up, he gets in, he gets in and starts it up real quick. Like, ah, uh, they're just, he left his car there. But as he leaves, he spins the tire. So I thought, I'm going to talk to him about that. Coming up on the freeway, he takes a right the wrong way and just punches it. He crashed. I got him, uh, had him at gunpoint, had him on the ground at one point, and then he took, he uh, got Chopped up and, up and took off. And that's where we were coming through all these fences here. 
and uh, lost them on one of the fences. Huh. Greg, you know we're back here. Oh, he's on him hard. Good. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get him. Keep your hands out. Keep your hands out where we can see him. Good job. Oh, the other guy was in a, I think it was an older model Toyota. He was behind us. Oh, Oh Way to go. Okay, that's okay. He's working. You work that center. Good boy. Really good. Right. That's a good boy. Very good. Get him off that one. Put him on your short one. Oh that's a good boy. Good. Okay, 67 uh, containment folks. Everybody can break. We've only had one in this car. Thanks. Great uh, job. You need to just tell me the truth. Sir, that's what uh, Okay. Uh, which car did you think I was in? Huh? What car did you think I was in? Uh, it wasn't a Camaro. It wasn't like a no. little firebird? No. Oh, you're right, sir. It wasn't. It was brown. You're right. It was a brown Toyota four-door. Four brown Toyota four-door? Yeah. Okay, that's a lot different than yeah, Camaro. Okay, you're right. Okay. I'm sorry, sir. That wasn't... That was Toyota... Brown. And whose car is that? That's my friend Jason's. And it was a Toyota what? Corolla, I think. Okay, no, is that no, actually no. his, or is that stolen, too? No, it's just... Okay. No, it's, uh... It's a brown... Toyota Celica, okay. or Corolla, and that's that's what I remember. It was it was an older model. He picked up that the turn went that way. His head was high, and as soon as we got, I don't know if you could see me. As soon as he went down that hill there, boy, he was just going to beat heck. And what was the guy stuck in the bushes back here? Yeah, he was hiding behind that little brush up against the house. And we were standing there for a good, I don't know, 20 seconds trying to work him out where he was at, and he never decided to come out and say, "Hey, I'm right here. I give up." Yeah, you knew we were good. Right good. Oh, standing excellent. 10 feet from him. Outstanding. That's a cool boy, huh? I just don't think he knew the area or something. You took out the homeowner's fence here? Yeah, just just demolished the fence. When I pulled up and got out, I'm yelling at him at gunpoint, and he still got it in drive trying to get out of this, mess with the gears. So uh, I just hit the, wind, you know, hit the window, and I think he saw the gun at that point, and uh, started to give up till he got out the door, and then uh, took off on foot. Oh, another uh, stolen car. It's a brand new 2000 SUV that was just taken off a car lot a couple days ago. Uh, didn't even have plates, and they got some stolen plates on there. And out driving around, we had to get lucky, get behind it. A crazy pursuit. Uh, ended up blacking out, going way too fast. Uh, ended up crashing this homeowner's fence. Got out and decided to run. Got the dog here. Got good containment and. Uh, Dog did an outstanding job, tracked him down. Uh, good night for a uh, good scent and uh, took another bad guy into custody. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, covers code 3. Thanks, Ted. Get 2514, 10 transmit on tag 2. Okay, we'll still send a code 3.